Oh, that's the line. Hit it. That's freaking five feet from it, y'all. I'm really starting to dig this disc. What's going on guys? We are back out here at uh, the field to record and I am going to be uh, throwing these two prototype evaders, um, the new prototype discs from Dynamic. Uh, this is a second one that I dyed that you guys haven't seen yet. It turned out pretty cool. I did some other like spot dye technique in it and this is obviously the first one that you guys saw. Um, so I'm going to see how these things fly, sidearm, backhand, see how far we can throw them. All that kind of stuff. All right, so it definitely looks like if you throw it flat, it'll go fairly straight, um, but you can also put it on a good little bit of anhyzer, have it turn over. I'm gonna keep on experimenting with it and uh, and see how we can do. All right, so I only threw those about 300 feet or so. Um, <clears throat> I'd love to be able to push these out to like 350, somewhere around there. Um, so I'm gonna kind of feel it out and see what sort of angle um, and line I need to get it on. So it definitely is uh, pretty overstable. I did release that on a hyzer. Um, I'm gonna try and release this one flat and just see how it flies. Oh wow, that's bad. All right, so that one's not gonna count. All right, so I really need to try and get my release right on this and then I wanna get a couple of sidearm shots in. Um, just to kind of describe the disc, it does, it has kind of a, it does actually have a dome on it, even though I feel like it has a low profile. Um, <clears throat> it's great for people with smaller fingers like myself. You guys can see that the rim isn't that uh, deep, also isn't that thick, um, obviously just being a fairway driver, but I mean, it feels, feels really, really good. I definitely wanna get out in the woods and throw it and see, uh, see how I can use it to, to hit some lines and stuff. Bad. All right, those might be pushing 320, 330, somewhere around there. All right, yeah, so those shots were about 320. Um, obviously, I'm not a big driver. <laughs> um, I know I need to work on my form a lot and everything, but I still like the way that they fly. Um, Seems like if I release it flat, it holds pretty straight for a while and then comes down left. If I release it higher, you can do a big flex shot with it. Now I'm gonna grab the sidearm um, and try and get some good flat releases with that and uh, see what happens. Wow. Okay, so that kind of turned over a little bit. All right, that's interesting. Right, I'm gonna try and give this one a big hyzer. All right, just so y'all know, I'm aiming, I've been aiming out there that telephone pole, which is about three, I don't know, 50 maybe, 325, something like that. So as y'all saw, I released that on a hyzer, and for me, at least for my sidearm right now, it popped up kind of to flat, um, and then still held out to the right. So I actually don't mind that shot shape. I feel like that can be uh, used a lot. Oh, 
that one would have been sick if I didn't more to the left. That one felt really clean though, I like that. All right, so for me personally, I don't think I would use this as a backhand disc. Um, it just feels too good for a sidearm and I kind of already have my backhand discs like set up, if you will. Um, but I really like how with my sidearm, this thing hyzer flips up uh, when I release it on a hyzer, it goes flat and then dives down to the right. Um, I think that's definitely a useful line, uh, especially in woods golf. So I'm going to throw a couple more here um, and just let you guys see what, what I'm kind of figuring out about it. So again, aiming at that pole out there. So a little bit to the left that time. It flipped up a little bit more than I was expecting, but still, that's, that's I really, really like that shot shape. Like, look at that. Woo! That's clean. I really like that. Right, I'm going to try two more backhands here. I want to try and rip this Captain uh, sidearm and see what it does. Wow. Well, that's definitely not what we were looking for. I thought that thing was going to flip up. All right, so you guys can see these telephone poles. I'm gonna treat the middle one as a tree and a mando on the left side of that. So I have to go around that and then hit the pole at the end. Probably not hit the pole, but that's what I'm aiming for is the basket. Oh yeah, dive down. Look at that ending, guys. That finish. The finish on it is like really, really sharp and I actually like that because it kind of spikes into the ground so you don't have to worry about it skipping too much. Oh, that's the line. Hit it. That's freaking five feet from it, y'all. I'm really starting to dig this disc. All right, guys. So after throwing the evader um, for a little bit, uh, I freaking love it for my sidearm. Um, releasing it on a hyzer and having it pop up to flap, not really flip over, and then uh, end up like dump down by uh, where I want it is just amazing. The fact that it ends that sharp and will just die in the ground um, it's really, really good because a lot of times you'll land and skip. Um, and this doesn't seem to be doing that. Um, so I'm definitely going to put it in my bag, go play some rounds coming up um, and see what I can do with it. But this thing is, uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, for my backhand, it, it, it isn't really anything that, like I'm super stoked about. Uh, but for the sidearm, it's definitely going in my bag. What's up guys, uh, back in my office now after going out to the field. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that disc, honestly. Um, and you guys know I've been working on my two finger sidearm and I'm, I'm feeling so much better with it. Um, I went and recorded with Yuli the other day. That video is coming out soon. Um, and my sidearm just feel like it just, it just starts, it's starting to feel really, really good with the two fingers. It feels really secure. Um, I'm confident with it and I just love it. Um, and so this disc, I think what I'm going to do with this is replace the Vandal that I have in my bag um, with this one because um, it, it just, I don't know, it's crazy that my sidearms produce a hyzer flip with it, um, but my backhand doesn't. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I guess it's just how I throw it or how I release it or something. Um, but I'm feeling so confident in my sidearm uh, lately and like I feel like I'm relying on it and leaning on it a lot more than I have uh, in a while. So I'm excited to see how the rest of the season plays out. Continue working on my sidearm, continue using these new discs. Thank you so much again for all your support lately, guys. Um, on dynamicdisc.com, I'm going to have some new stamps very, very soon for you guys. Um, the molt dot, the molt stamp is on there right now. Um, it's only for a couple of discs, so I'm going to have them switch that so that you guys can get it on anything. 
Um, and again, the code MOLT121 just till the end of January. I'm going to get that new code for you guys out here soon. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. <clears throat> Got something in my throat. But I'm loving it. Absolutely love the Evader. Super fun disc. Can't wait to throw it. Going to get out on the course with it and show, you, show it to you guys as well. Comment down below how y'all feel about it, um, <clears throat> what you like about it, what you think you would use it for, um, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. See you guys.